Hello everybody and welcome to Super Cap round of 8. We're gonna be watching FAC vs AD. Um, with me is Average Adam. Hello man. Good evening. And I am Screen112. Uh, you can otherwise catch us over on Metagaming TV. On twitch.tv slash metagaming TV, uh, which is, uh, well, if you go to that channel now, you will see that it's currently hosting uh, the official War Thunder channel here on Twitch, where we will be watching and commentating this match. Um, FAC or F A C H, um, the Chilean team from South America, will be facing AD, uh, which is another one of these teams that is C I S, uh, common, let's see, a Commonwealth. Of independent independent states, um, easily you could easily translate. You could yeah, that's a mouthful. You can easily translate that into uh, kind of former Soviet nations stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if they're like if it exactly is that, but it's it's you know if if you know of the former Soviet nations, then um, you kind of have a gist of which nations that 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 entails. Um, so yeah. What a uh, what? Okay, another thing happened today. Um, while we are waiting for Fac versus AD to get ready up to uh, to get into that match, um, I'm curious to hear. I wasn't here earlier today, but I, I heard we had like for for the first time ever we had a two hour long match. It was between uh, NBS M NBSI um, and yeah, I literally uh, Wolfie Wolf Wolfie yeah. Oh my god, it was it was long. Um, Mobius. What was the reason? I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, this well, is going to be simulator, by the way, just to, to make it clear. This is simulator battle um, that we were going to be watching. Oh no, it's realistic. Fuck. I fuck it up. It's realistic. Of course I'm fucking up. Well, realistic, sorry. Actually, I'm not... I'm going to question that graphic. Uh, but anyways, back... <laughs> Back to the to the game that's you know MBSI versus uh, Wolfie. We'll forget we'll forget about the the fact that the graphic is wrong. Um, graphic is wrong. Um, is oh, it, it says realistic battle, but it is so similar, isn't it? I believe so. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm, all the games today know. are realistic. Anyways, I, it, anyways, I'm 100 sure. I'm 100 sure this is gonna be either realistic or simulator. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the two. Mm -hmm. um, but it was uh, basically what happened was. Uh, we had um, Mobius, who was very critically damaged. He still had a full round of ammo, but he was critically damaged and couldn't engage um, Sonny, who was his opponent. Uh, but Sonny had ran out of ammo. So we were basically waiting for Mobius to die. That was, that was basic. And his engine was either running out of fuel or leaking um, coolant because there was... Uh, a little bit earlier, somebody had critted his engine, and he was he was basically going down, and it was only a matter of time. Um, mm. It was just unfortunate that somebody had run out of ammo. Mm. And, I mean, Mobius was in no condition to be able to fight, and that's basically what we were running on. And that happened twice. It wasn't with Mobius, but it was with um, Sonny, once again, comes out in a, in a 1v1 situation. No, it was the... It was the 2v2 standoff. Um... And Sonny had once again sprayed a lot of bullets up against... Um, I can't remember who he was up against. It wasn't Mobius, but it was somebody else. But it was definitely Sonny was was one of the two pilots because mm. he had. this is his second time. That guy's endurance is crazy. Like, two games he had to face back-to-back, -back, which were like 30-minute long games. It was, it was pretty ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I missed that game. I'm gonna be watching it uh, back again uh, once it is up on uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, you guys can catch the matches that has been uh, spectated and commentated by uh, me or Adam or both of us um, over on the Metagaming TV YouTube channel. Um, I'm assuming it's as he says, youtube.com slash metagaming TV. Uh, don't have a link right now. But 306 over games there, up, isn't it? Oh yeah, the 306 versus Black Team uh, round of eight simulator battle is up there now. It has finished and is published, so you can actually. Oh yeah, I could. I guess I could link. This is what you want to bookmark. All right, here we go. This is this is what you want to bookmark. Here's the playlist you want to bookmark. And yes, we are gonna watch a match. It's gonna be starting. It should be starting now. We're waiting for detail. Oh, I just said it, and 
I just got the details. All right. Oh, nice. I'll give you that to you. So I was just messaging all the arbiters, going game info question mark, game info question mark. Oh, you were doing that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because you because you know you 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 always worry like okay, what if somebody they forgets forget your about hair? Us? Yeah. <laughs> um. I right, let's see. We'll see. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try simulator first. It uh, is in simulator. I can invite you to this. Should be yeah. That... The graphic is wrong. The graphic is wrong. I, I'm I've already found it. Um. It's okay. We'll just we'll just. I mean, I could cover it up, but that's just gonna look. Uh, we can you can just update at least the streaming title then. I have. Oh, it's a simulator. Oh, that one is correct, but it's yep. the graphics. It's okay. It it happens. There's a lot of games happening, so somebody's bound to mm. accidentally make a mistake. Oh it's yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. They're probably grinding through those graphics like crazy, mm. and you know, oh shit, did I put a realistic in the simulator graphic? Oh, <laughs> one <laughs> out of know, like you've... the 32 that are happening. Holy moly! Quick, somebody call the fire brigade. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Easily happens. I wouldn't worry too much. All right. Well, we're sitting here waiting for the team. Uh, what they are probably doing right now is uh, vote v veto. Is that what you call yes, it? Vetoing, vetoing the uh, the the groups of planes and the airplanes. Um, there's three groups of airplanes, uh, A, B, and C, and they uh, each team uh, removes. They veto. They they go like. Mm. You know, we don't want to fly the group of planes in A. The other team goes like, well, we don't want to fly the group of planes in B. So, for you know, that example leaves them left with uh, the group of C, uh, which contains three different airplanes. Uh, I don't have the sheet. Uh, sheet, sheet. <laughs> I believe sheet. they've changed because I don't think the BF109F, I think it was the F2 previously. Now mm -hmm. it's the F4. So I think it, I think in that respect, they've changed. Would have to, would probably have to, let's see, referee, would have to dig in um, on the forums to actually, I think, find, I'm going to do that. I have nothing else to do right now. I'll uh, I'll go to the War Thunder forums and see if I can find the exact group of airplanes that is being used. And um, uh, while you're doing that, and we are waiting for the teams to get ready, uh, we have a video here of our sponsors, which we will quickly play for you now. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Huh? Meet the Rocket Tire, featuring the brand new Rocket Accelerator Analog Thumb Paddle, giving you unrivaled command capabilities. The new Rocket Fin Switch, letting you execute multiple maneuvers at the same time. Four ergonomic top buttons, instinctively placed so that you can hunt for prey, not for buttons. Meet the new standard in gaming mouse control. I gotta say, I've watched that video now five or six times. Every time I watch it, wants me to buy that mouse more and more. <laughs> I mean, I I wanna try. I, I'm okay. I wanna try before I buy. Um, but I really, I like, I don't think they make a mouse. I mean, any gaming mouse before they have someone freaking try a prototype, right? So. I'm I'm just curious about the the the, the wing, <laughs> the, th the the shark fin, the thing on the, the top? on the top of it. I I I don't know. Like I want to try that. Like send me a mouse. I'll I'll use it. Don't no don't no hesitations. Um. <laughs> I gotta say there is. I, 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 my home address is. <laughs> my home address. I can't think of another mouse that does have a little fin at the top of it. I mean, my mouse has a sensitivity button, but that's only. I'm, I'm, I'm up sitting and down. with my. I'm sitting with my. Uh, not to mention the brand uh, right now, and I'm. I'm. I'm just imagining trying to use that thing. Like I'm just trying to figure out how that would feel. Um, it looks interesting. Do you know what's even more interesting? The plane they've chosen. Ah, oh, we are assuming it's gonna be the P thirty nine N zero. A plane. Because that is what that is I, what they all. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that plane in a long you've never time. Seen that I was gonna say you've never seen. I've that never. Plane. I've you know I've I've flown it myself, but I don't think I've yet to see this plane in um in this tournament. Like I can't think of the games we covered a couple of weeks oh, you're ago. You're thinking, you're thinking, yeah. You think about Gladiator overall. Yeah. Um, I, I have think, seen it once or twice. I uh, think this is as rare as the Japanese plane. It is very rare. You rare, yeah. I mean, I can't remember when. It just feels like I've seen it. It just feels like I have, but when it was, or at which match, or mm, don't know. Mm. Uh, do not, do not know at all. A lot of people prefer. The N0 to the N5, 
Um, a lot of people mm. think it's because it's got more ammo. It's not. The N0 has 7.7s as well as 50 cows. So it's much easier to, in my personal opinion, to kind of mm. get a good lead on where your cannon's going to go. Because you've obviously got a lot more rounds and a lot more things sort of flying at the enemy. It's easier to go. That's where it's going to land. Hmm. I found the group of planes. Uh, let's see if this actually is the correct thread. It says worth under Super Cup regulations, okay? So I'm assuming this is up to date. <laughs> and and uh, they've, they've picked their planes. We have that all all good and ready here. Like, we we know the plane they're going to fly. But in group A, they uh, there is the A6M3 Ryzen. There mm -hmm. is the HE112B0. There mm -hmm. is the P36G. Didn't have that. No, I was gonna say that has never been. In the, that was uh, the P40. Yeah, that was the P40. I think. Um, in Group B, they have KI61I Utsu. Mm. Um, they have the BF109F4. So they have two Japanese planes now. Yeah. They used to only have and one. They have. They have the. Uh, yeah, the Ryzen wasn't in before, was it? Nope. No. Uh, <clears throat> and the third plane in Group B is the Yak 1B. Um, in Group C, they have the P39N0, the one they're going to be flying today. Mm -hmm. And Spitfire F Mark 9. Oh, good to see there is at least a British plane in the tournament. Oh, for, yeah, a British plane. I was plane. getting worried. And you were getting worried. I was. We're getting and, to the last group. And, <laughs> and then you have the LA5F. So there's... There's two Russians. There there is three. two United Stadians. Yep. There is one British. There is two Japanese and two Germans. Okay. Yeah. So the only difference is they've but added, are, uh, they've added a Japanese a and taken away a Russian. There used to be three Russian. It used to be the Yak, the... Um, what was it? Was it the lag? I think it might have been the lag. Or was it yeah. the I six no, it wasn't the I sixteen. Maybe it was the it no. was the I sixteen. Dude, I don't know. Like we've we've covered two entire like oh, well, you know, obviously not every game, but we've covered two two entire seasons of Gladiator tournaments uh, the last year, so you know which planes were in which. I honestly do not know. It's a blur. Um, but I know. I, I know they between each of them. There's been at least a plane or two swapped out for another, which I think is good. Like they're they have so many planes in the game. Uh, which ones are the best to have in these selections? I mean, it's always about vetoing anyway. So in my opinion, they could throw in anything. Like they could even have jets in. Like I don't think it matters that much when they're facing off using the exact same airplanes and they're vetoing the planes to not fly in you. So I, I honestly think, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Cause it will always be on equal terms. Um, but so I think it's a good thing they're, they're mixing it. Like it would be boring if we had the same nine airplanes in, uh, to get, uh, you know, uh, split into these groups uh, over the last three tournaments or the last two. This is obviously the super cup. This is the, the, the thing to, uh, I like this actually. I like I like how they. I mean, the first Gladiator tournament was like one international tournament. Didn't need a Super Cup because they had they they figured out who the best of the best were. Um, the second Gladiator tournament, the one that we watched and followed. Oh my God! How many are actually players in this one? Uh, there is a right lot. Um, uh, or is this how they're doing it? Maybe you you should have seen. Uh... No, one of them's just not really like one of them's not spectator. But you should have seen the NBSI and. The Wolfie teams, they honestly had like eight players apiece. That the game was full. Anyway, I sidetracked a little bit though. Uh, I just wanted to, gonna finish what I was saying, obviously. Uh, what I was saying is that um, I just got shocked when I realized everybody was picking referee in the in the lobby. I'm like, what is going on? But I think it might be a thing. Anyway, the uh, the last Gladiator tournament at the end of last year was split into two groups. They had Eastern countries for, uh, and then they had Western countries, uh, which was a good thing. It made it easier for them to schedule the matches to uh, when it came to time zones and all that stuff. Even though the Japanese team, again, I'm echoing that all the time, played on the Western side. I was like, okay. Um, 
which I'm assuming was down to their choice, which one they wanted to sign up for, honestly. Um, and we're getting into the match. But that is why we have the Super Cup now, guys, if you're watching and wondering, is because they've decided to take the eight best teams from the Western and the Eastern tournament and have like a major playoff. Um, that is what we're going to watch now. It's, uh, it's between back and AD. And we're going to have Mataboli versus Kornev. Kornev? <laughs> i got to like say, I, I, I missed you this morning or this afternoon at 2 o'clock. I was like, I wish Screen was here so he could fail all the names. Yeah. We need to we need to get these guys in beforehand and tell them what our na their names, how they pronounce their names. Which, I do feel bad every they, time we start can murdering just send them. Send us a text file with the, with with the voice. The phonetics. Yeah, <laughs> that would work too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, yeah, as this yeah. as as this is the one v one, they do need to cross over each other. So you'll see that the two planes aren't allowed to shoot each other, and now they can. I forgot to ch I forgot to check using the beta client so I could get these. Oh no! Game. Why is that? I didn't even know they had a, such a thing. That you is it something you check on the launcher? Yeah, it's it's quite new. Oh boy! Oh Look at those 7.7s. I just watched this from Maraboli's side of view. That was that was actually wow. I've never done that before. Um, it was kind of nice. He came down from straight from the sun. And you just heard how the the guns were firing in the distance, and you saw the bullets rain down on him. But he didn't do any damage, though. No. Oh, now now he's using the cannon. I mean, I gotta say, the 37 on the American plane is isn't the best 37 in the game. Mm. Although it does do a lot of damage. Oh, this is simulator. Uh, I mean, he dived aggressively there, um, Maraboli. I was really thinking that he would actually. I, I I don't know. I was thinking there goes the wings, but no. The the American N zero is. I mean, the Air Cobra in itself is very good at pulling up out of very high speeds. It's what it's it's what it's really made for. All right. It's um. It's a very good, you know, boom and zoomer. Mm mm. Although well, Corny still seem to have the altitude. I've got to say, I also really like the cockpit of this plane. That's it's something nice I open. yet to see. No, it's it's really nice to be able to see out of all the angles, almost. Yeah. Ooh, the angles. It looks like it. Yeah, from from the look of it, it looks pretty nice, actually. I mean, it is. There are obviously um, not supports. I'm going to call them rates in the in the cockpit that kind of make it sometimes rather annoying to see out of. The planes can kind of hide in them. If they're far enough away, you're kind of mm, looking through mm. them. But other than that, I like the cockpit. I like the plane in general. I also like this map. Something I've noticed. I really like this map. I gotta say, I, I feel like this, this map, map is, is beautiful. It's a lot better as well than the other one because I like the difference in terrain rather than it just being all flat. Mm -hmm. I think Something. that's a major reason they're using this. I mean, they, they, I mean, they tested this map in the if anybody played the special events that happened in War Thunder earlier, uh, earlier this year, uh, end of last year, where they had one versus one duels or two versus two duels even uh, with leaderboards and everything going on. That, that's actually pretty cool. It's like ranked gameplay. Uh, Actually, really, really, uh, really cool. I know a lot of people play that, and that was that was on this map. They, uh, so they got a lot of testing there. Corny has been the one firing. How many bullets does this plane? Quite a lot. Think? Two thousand. I'm not sure of it, each exact value, but I know it has two thousand ish rounds of machine gun rounds. I'm not sure how it splits them up between um, fifty cal and seven point seven. The cannon, I think, has. I want to say less than 50. Less than 50 rounds? I'm just waiting for Corny to actually finish this. He, he, he's not very good with the... I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say he's bad. He's obviously in this tournament for a reason, but... Wow. Just Considering the amount of rounds he sprayed, you would have thought he would have done quite a bit of damage. Yeah. 
And now they're I mean, out that's... of the capture point. Nobody cares about the capture point in these duels, I've, I've noticed. I've it's, it's well, funny. well, you say that, but you should watch the MBSI game. Oh, I should watch that. Oh. I will watch that. I can't wait to have that on YouTube. That's like a that's like a two hour long movie then. <laughs> it, what, what should we call that one? Tailfins two. Yep. I mean, oh, I do like how Corneille stayed behind him the entire time. Yeah. Not a lot of flap action, I must say. Not a lot of um. Use usage of the landing flaps to try and stop themselves from overshooting. But Corneille didn't seem like he needed to. He just pulled up. Mm. Um, and just stopped overshooting by just pulling straight up, using that momentum to, to get the altitude advantage again, and then just kept on diving, climbing, diving, climbing. So that uh, that's AD takes the first uh, the first leg, I guess. They did. So all they need now is another two, and they take the first point of the series. I gotta say, I again, I do quite like how they split them up into four individual ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Much, much better. Uh, much more interesting. Uh, you know, it's also because they have this map now that they use. They, they, um, they can't. I mean, on this map, they only have those two spawns. They wouldn't even be able to on this map have four simultaneous one versus ones as they did in the previous uh, tournaments. Uh, how you know? However, you know, there's there's good and bad. The good thing with having four simultaneously means that, you know, you move the match a little bit quicker. Uh, but I gotta say, we haven't seen that much. Like they're really effective this time around. I mean, we haven't seen. It doesn't seem to take that much extra time. I mean, in simulator, you know, sure, add add 10 to 15 minutes to the overall match time because of it, you know. Um, right. Yeah, but I, I think that's about it. Even, you know, even in realistic, I guess it's the same. Like 10, 15 extra minutes is what I would add to the overall match time um, because of this. But again, like, you know, I, I rather see every one versus one duel makes it a little bit more exciting. Doesn't also, you know, at the same time, because sometimes you would have them all finish so quickly simultaneously. That was like, all right, this team just won. Like, you know, and you didn't really know how close was it. Like, you know, now at least we get to see like, all right, first one versus one went to AD. They have, you know, they, they, they are one duel up on the others. Um, you know, and if if now the second duel ends up going to the other team, now it's a one-one in the duels. Like it just gets a little bit more exciting. You get, you know, it takes a little bit more time. You know, it's 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 drawn out a little bit more. You know, nobody likes a quickie really. So. Oh, there we go. The P the P thirty nine N zero has thirty rounds in the thirty seven millimeter, forty in the two in the fifty cows, uh, four hundred in the fifty cows, and three thousand in the. <laughs> Or by 303. Yeah, they're rounds, never running out of ammo. No. I, I mean, entirely. Like, those, those 3,000 7.62mm Browning machine guns, they will never run out. <laughs> like, sure, they could, but I mean, that, that's that's probably going to be what the, the last thing they have to use, though. Like, you know, they're obviously going to be saving the cannon for, for better opportunities. Uh, they, they they probably want to use the 12 millimeters for 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 most of the most of the, most of the time. Um, the sevens are just there for fluff. I, I I feel like the sevens help more than the 50 counts when it look when it's when it comes to trying to figure out uh, the lead mm. you need to give yeah, because well, you can just spray they have those. Four of those, yeah. They're they're like I mean seven. You should not, not underestimate seven millimeters uh, either because having four of those, there's a lot of bullets per second. So you know, as long as you hit, you're you're gonna do some damage. Um, obviously, I mean, the cannon is the finisher, though. Of course, but as as I've said, the cannon isn't as effective as say the Yak 90s cannon. Mm. Sure. But but, but the you know if you get match. they're in the same oh, airplane, course. so nobody if you, has if you... the advantage of another cannon. Nope. Uh, and I mean, I don't. I definitely do not want to be hit by a 37 millimeter by a, an air cobra. That <laughs> is <anything>. for sure. <laughs> nope. So, so it's not that it's 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 a bad cannon. It's just if you were to compare it's, it with other airplanes. With other aircraft. Um. So this time, uh, on the AED side, we have eight seven 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 R. It actually is a B, but sure. Is that a B? Yeah, there's a B. 
Okay, well, you for know, me, that looks like an let's, you know, just Let's call him triple seven. Okay. Uh, versus uh, Abaddon. Abaddon. Not even gonna mention that he has a one on the airplane and in the nickname. Where's Wait, the one he on doesn't. The plane? Actually, no, he actually doesn't. That's just. Uh, I was in the wrong plane. It's funny that Triple Seven has a one on his plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't Wait think. a second. Did what? you guys pick the wrong planes? Did you get into they each other? Oh, they The mix. The mix up. <laughs> well, you know. This is rather interesting. Yeah. Oh my! Oh, the stealth Abaddon. rounds. Stealth rounds from oh, seven, seven, rounds? seven. Yeah. Why well, didn't even notice? I was actually on the Abaddon. Rounds, huh? Probably didn't even hit him then. He does. Yeah, no. That is the problem, in my personal opinion, with stealth rounds. I mean, these guys are really, really good pilots. They've they've beaten a lot of people to get there, to get to get here to the Super Cup. So I'm not taking away that <gasps> they are unable what? to aim. Really? He just crashed. He crashed. <laughs> I. I was on B I was on seven seven seven. I, I was, was on. I. Where did huh. he crash? I don't even see any smoke. Uh, in the into the ocean, I I would appear. Okay uh, then. So. Huh. I feel I missed the upper like far frag. I just swapped to triple seven and I was like, wait a second. Okay, chat. Man, ten ten. I do not. I miss you. I, I think they're BMing each other. <laughs> uh, I I I all right. So if, if unless anything else happens here, uh, AD got that run. So that's two 0 That was rather weird. I I I regret not being able to see um. Not being able to see what happened. What but what did he do? Like he I dived. Don't know. He went. Uh, he he dived. He went up. He came back. Di did he just not avoid? Like was did he really screw up that badly? Like I'm I'm surprised. Uh, was not was not expecting to see that at all. Obviously, the Air Cobra is not their strongest of planes. Hmm. I mean, he might have under like he might have. I mean, it happens I'm to everyone, right? You go into a dive. Try and do a loop or something, and you you just forget to compensate for the aircraft you're in. Like you're normally used to say a Spitfire with the nice turning, and you start going into the turn, and you go, "I think I've messed up here." This, As yeah, you're the, about the to ground plummet is, to the ground, the ground is approaching me very quickly. I don't think I'm in a Spitfire <laughs> anymore. For them. So I mean, it's it's easy to happen. You might not have, you know. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. It was just it was just a funny. Funny it's moment. it's rather funny, odd. Funny derp moment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we all make mistakes, right? <laughs> I never do, but oh, okay. I see others do. It. I see others do it all the time. <sighs> it's just one of those things. I'm flawless. So the next question is: is that if AD does win this round, do we need do to play, play fourth? the fourth one? I mean, I would I, still say I, yes. Uh, hmm. I but it wouldn't surprise do, me. It's not. I I wouldn't like. I would think they would skip it. It's gonna be Predator from Fac uh, up against uh, the nicknames. Uh, VAT IRS because you know that's that's the American state. Why don't we just call it this. Cat? Yeah, let's call him Cat. Cat versus Predator. Predator versus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this? Predator should win <laughs> because of nickname versus Cat. Uh, all right. I'm a predator. Uh, the, I'm on yeah, it's interesting though. It's interesting. We'll see what they do if if it goes that way. Um, however, predator does have to win here. Oh, absolutely. To, to have a ch to have a chance at getting that one point. In fact, if if predator loses here, uh, his team does not get a point in the first round, uh, but AD does. Hmm. I mean, again, these guys, like, you see, I mean, I'm not 100% sure on how fast the aircraft is going, but it doesn't seem like it's going too fast. I'm surprised Bullets. we're not seeing a lot of flap action. Like, in um, in a lot of the other planes, such as uh, we saw it earlier um, in the Yak, a lot of flap action was happening, like, an absurd amount. Like, you could hear them constantly clicking the flap button to get every little ounce of lift out of I the plane I think it's about possible. to be... Predator looks in a very precarious position. He's getting rather, uh... 
He's getting rather dangerous going right in front of those 37s every time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, exactly. I, I feel like Cat is getting all the most amazing opportunities here to do something about this. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, must... you know, it's it, again, it's about just hitting the goddamn enemy plane. Um, Cat but... is doing a great job of uh, not overshooting Predator. Using throttle, you can hear the engine revving up and down. Ah, there we go. I heard some flaps. Oh, oh they've gone I back heard in again. Flaps. Oh. Yep. That they came out so for much. a split second. Hear them again. Again, this is this is one of the reasons why I, I mean, I do really like the, uh, oh. the Air Cobra. Is just how much you can just oh, spam. There's no critical damage been registered, but there is a lot of bullet holes on Predator, like. There's bullet holes all over, over the canopy. That does look like a rather a lot of bullet holes. Yeah. The fact nothing seems to have crit anything is interesting. But... I mean, it's probably like pink, and that doesn't really register as a crit. There we go. Oh, there you go. That, that one, I think that is it. Yeah, uh, that right wing going right straight wing, to a skin. Like, everything, everything. Like, that, he just... No. The engine Eventually. even sounds pretty dead. That was a nice landing. That was a soft landing. A pretty soft landing. I you give know, I give that an eight, eight out of ten. I was gonna give that an eight out of ten. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Definitely. So uh, so we can save quite, quite. Um, well, AD, AD get the point. They do. So that puts them in the lead currently. I mean, it can turn around at any second. I mean, even NBSI earlier were losing. Uh, they lost the first round. Hmm. So, I mean, anything can happen. You can turn around at any moment. But we most definitely can't cut... Uh, FACH out of the running just yet. Hmm. All right. So we'll see if they do the fourth, uh, I guess we'll know any second. It does look like they're going to do it anyways. I mean, I do feel like everybody does deserve a chance to do it. So I, I do yeah, feel I like so this too. is, I, I it's, do, it's some, yeah. You know, sh sure, this, if, if they do the fourth one versus one, it doesn't matter, if, you know, for squad shit, but it, uh, it's an honorable thing to do. It's you know, it's. Uh... I mean, how much? Yeah. How much so extra? One more one v one. Yeah. See, one more one one v one. Yeah, there you go. Like, how much game time does it really add? I mean, um, no, no, it's fine. This is the last game of the day as well, and again, I do feel like everybody deserves a chance. And I, I also feel a little aspect could be you know a little bit more mind games as well. I mean, this could be a good opportunity for AD to completely whitewash back in the first round and say I mean even if Fact wins this one it's it's you know a little bit you know confidence boost right or, and then it's exactly uh, the same the other way around you know one of your mm -hmm. teammates has won a round they're not indestructible yeah and I'm freezing so I'm just gonna like get off the chair quickly and get a get a sweater so guys we got Lefty, Letty, sorry, versus Matt Coffey in the final 1v1 before we go into the 2v2s. Again, guys, seeing as though this is the 1v1, they must cross over. All right. You should have a sweater within arm's reach, but obviously that sweater had decided to go into another room. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, the crossover happened. They have to cross each other. It's Lett versus Mac Coffee. Yep. In in before Apple Susan. At least it wasn't iCoffee, so. iCoffee. Or iMac. <laughs> in before they sue us. Uh <laughs> I gotta say this is a really I fact needs to not climb. This is this is really bad. He's just gonna stall straight away. Yeah, what is he even trying to? 
like... I mean, I can understand okay. trying to get some hits off, but... That... That was a bit greedy. Greedy and eager. Not to All mention firing that thing. Do you know how, like... You lose at least two to three miles per hour every time you fire that 37. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, firing your guns is affecting your speed, obviously. I mean, you're pretty much... I mean, you're pretty much, uh, you know, having propulsion happening, you know. Oh! There you go. There we go. 80. I, I oh, think you can just... still land that. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like, according to the game, he actually is only critical. Now, while well, he holds J and jumped out, I would say, it would seem like, but... It's kind of yeah, in Simulator, having stuff blown off doesn't kill you. Oh, it's... okay. Well, I, I mean, ever since, ever since that, you know, the new damage model, uh, I mean, the improved damage models where, you know, you can chip off wings and stuff like that, it mm. feels like it, no matter the mode, uh, they actually had, um, you know, the, it, you actually don't die. Like, the game doesn't count you as dead as quickly as it used to be. Like, you can actually lose a, pieces of, a few pieces of your wings and still be considered alive until you actually crash or hit thing around. Uh, it's also interesting to see that uh, McAfee has uh, a Golden Gladiator decal on his plane. Top of a one. I think, wasn't that... I believe that golden one is for winners. Of... I'm, that's what I'm thinking. And So I'm, so we're actually I'm watching... I'm unfortunately not sure. I'm 95% I'm uh, sure that the golden one is if you've come first, second or third in a Gladiator tournament. Oh, so top three then. Yeah. Okay. So we, so I mean, we could you know. be sat here going, mm, facts not doing too great, but then they're also going up against potentially, really, yeah, potentially a, a one of the top three. <laughs> um, well, eighty gets the point. The next will be the two versus two. Uh, the two versus two guys is uh, there's two duels. Uh, two two versus two is going to be fought. Uh, if uh, each team wins one, they're gonna do a third. Uh, the 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 winning team gets uh, two points. Mm. I gotta say, the two v two can be, in my personal opinion, a little bit more strategic than the one v one. Um, because you have that second player, there are so many different ways that you can you can use that second player. You can have um, two of you go after one guy. Potentially, that means that there's going to be somebody chasing one of you. But you can have mm. one... Two people chasing one dude. You can have two separate 1v1s. Um, or you can do the sort of conga line sort of thing. There's, I feel, three different ways that you can you can sort of play out a 2v2. Mm. The one I like the least is the uh, the two separate 1v1s. Because then you're making no use of that second player. I mean, sure, you put, yourself at a, you put yourself at a lot of risk trying to chase the same person down. But you got to remember is that guy is going to now have to dodge two people instead of one. And think about how much momentum and speed he's going to lose trying to dodge both of you. He's going to become slower and slower. And eventually somebody's going to hit him. I mean, sure, one of you might be critted by the other guy or even shot down. But then, you know, you've taken out a guy... And then it becomes a 2v1 scenario. And now that guy is now being chased by two people. I just feel and like... Oh, sorry. We have Maraboli and Predator versus the 777 and Corny. So just to sum up, first person to get the kill kind of wins. First person yeah. to knock out another team, um, one of the enemy planes kind of wins. Because a 2v1 yeah. is so hard to come back from. Mm. Entirely agree. So. Oh, shots fired. Again, those stealth rounds. Oh, yeah. You cannot see those. I gotta say, you have to be, in my personal opinion, rather brave to use stealth rounds in a simulator. It's hard. Oh my lord! Boom. That 37 right. going straight through the back of uh, Maraboli. That was a very nice again, shot. So again, 80 versus 1. I mean, not again, but that's what happened. Yeah, 2 versus 1, 2 guys chasing 1 dude. Yeah, that Came dude is not going to have a lot of fun. Nope. And now they've instantly moved back, and now they've instantly gone on to Predator.
Yeah, this is looking kind of difficult. Oof. Oh, spin. Not even sure. Oh, his, oh, no, his elevator no, no. is yeah. slightly damaged. Yeah, I don't think it was on purpose. And there you go. No, that's a lot of damage now to that left wing. Completely snapping off the tip of it. So I've got to say, compared to the MBSI game earlier, this is very quick. This is very, very quick. I mean, it feels like we're almost going back in time as quick as this is going. Like, this is crazy. Um... But it just goes to show just how good there are. Uh, this is Simulator, remember. It just goes to show how good just some players are. Just imagine they're sitting in those cockpits, looking around, trying to... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just amazed how good they are. Like... You know, it doesn't matter if, you know, one team is right now looking very confident. Uh, it, it still just amazes me how how they're even am, am managing to find each other and keep track of each other. It's, it's um, you know, I, I would be so bad at this. Well, I am, obviously, but it's, it's and that's why I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we would be but, playing instead of commentating. Oh, yeah, I would be so in this tournament. But it's it's just 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 so just so cool. I, I am I am really happy to be spectating and commentating on this because it is it is interesting to see the the very best uh, players that, that that both you know simulator and realistic mode has to offer. There's very yeah. few who can compete with these. No. All right. And I mean, if the golden if the golden uh, gladiator symbol does mean that they're one of the top three. <laughs> You can definitely see by the way they're playing that <laughs> yeah. they they definitely deserve that golden. And it's still top symbol. eight though. Like I mean, even the team they're facing, like you know. Um, right, we can't take it away even if, from. Even if you were the eighth best team in a gladiator tournament, that means you went to the quarterfinal. That is not that is not something every team like you don't enter the gladiator tournament and go like yeah so. We can at least make it to the quarterfinal, or you know, or we're gonna be so bad. It's like, no, if you make it to the quarterfinal, you're celebrating. You're being like, dude, we made it to the quarterfinal. That's amazing. Absolutely. You know? um, it's uh, I don't know, like like in in football, you know, the real football, soccer for those Americans who are watching. Um, if you if, if in Champions League, like you know, uh, probably the the biggest tournament for for for. For teams in that, like you know, top eight, you're like you're you know you're 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 already ready. You have a high seed in like the groups second group stage of the tournament next year. You're you're like you're like set. Like the club is like they know they have like good financial year coming up next year because they made it top eight. Like it's it's amazing to get that far. Same same goes with gladiator tournament. Like if you make hmm. it to top eight, you're you're good. Which is why. Which is why I don't always like to see games go this quick and can, like, it, it, I mean, I, it, it does seem a little one-sided. Um, From a viewer perspective, this is this is obviously not as exciting as if, you know, they were more close and even, obviously. And we don't know, maybe maybe it will become close and even when we go into the 4 versus 4. I mean, FAC could show some, you know, show some good team play right there. We'll I mean, they could goes. even turn this it around is, here. This uh, is Mac Coffee, by the way, and Sky Killer. Which is a great name versus Let and Abaddon. I kill her because that nickname is badass. I think the AD guys once again have a much better height advantage over their mm. back counterparts. Yeah, and they seem to be getting much better positioning too, which uh, you know, just having that extra altitude does help with. I mean, it's also where the Air Cobra wants to be. It doesn't want to be close to the ground. It doesn't want to be turn fighting. It wants to be using its speed. Hmm. That's true. That's not McAfee, is it? No. I'm surprised uh, Skykiller didn't dive onto whoever that was down there. I mean, I can't tell, unfortunately. I didn't think it was uh, his teammate, but there was definitely a Pylane down there, so I'm surprised he didn't carry on diving. There's another dude behind this there. That must be McAfee. No, it's not. McAfee. I'm not gonna lie. McAfee, McAfee keeps getting rather close to Abaddon. I'm surprised they haven't rammed into each other yet. Hmm.
So I mean, again, in this kind of scenario where you've got the two, uh, you know, two guys sort of spinning, turning with each other, I'm surprised that either Sky Killer or that he doesn't sort of come and pick off one of them. Because I mean, they've got to be going rather slow. They're obviously turning. They're trying to dodge each other, so it, it must be quite, I say, easy in the in the loosest sense, but it must be easier than trying to shoot them while they're trying to evade you. They're trying to evade somebody else. They're obviously looking behind them going, oh, who's, um, who am I currently chasing? I mean, here we go. While Ab um, while the coffee was distracted by Abaddon, Latisse comes in, doesn't get any hits off, but at least is looking for the 2v1. Abaddon, unfortunately, set on fire, and now, I mean, sorry, the T is set on and fire. So, and, so, and well, Abaddon, I believe, is just critted. No, I think he's just leaking you. Oh, okay. That's definitely not a fire. But with his teammate being shot down, I mean, Abaddon doesn't have much he can do at this point anyway. He's uh, very da heavily damaged on the left wing, and he's just not I don't know, trying to stay afloat. But, you know, it won't matter much. They could finish him, or they could just let him be, because he is not... Ma he, the, you know, the plane is not working. The wing is being, like, just weighing down the entire plane. And he is hitting the water right here. Maybe he can do, like, a... Nah, okay, no, not gonna hit the water. I'm gonna hit the mountainside. Oh! Oh! Ooh, wow, I really thought they would crash there. Could you imagine if a coffee had gone into the wall? That would have been, that would have been pretty, that would have been pretty great. In a, in a good scene and all, but it wouldn't have changed much. No. It would have been great to see, though. Oh, definitely. So that puts AD now three points ahead of fact. Oh. Well, this just puts uh, fact in the position where they have to... Um, win the four versus four to draw the match and uh, put it into um, a deciding extra round but mm. the way ad has been showing such confidence and and dominance just, yeah it's just dominating um it makes me wonder if 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 it's even possible like Anything is possible. Uh, the fat guys could obviously, you know, hopefully have someone rally them, maybe have a pep talk, maybe go like, alright guys, let's just forget about all of that and just, <laughs> let's just, you know, do this ten times better and just, just, you know, let's just synchronize our minds and get into this. Because the four versus four could be a whole different beast. Um, I don't know, I would probably, I guess I would ask them to go two on two on the same guy like just do that like maybe that is that is a good plan go two on two uh split into two on two and uh, two two uh, and go on the same guy um so that you maybe take out at least one if not two of the opponents quickly and hope that they are you know being confident enough right now to just go like solo like they, they're going one 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 uh and you guys go two Two plus two, uh, and do it. Uh, we'll, we'll see how they do it, though. Um, but they took a five-minute break, actually. They did take a five-minute break mm. uh, for for uh, for the first for time so far talk. in the Super Cup, I guess. Maybe, no, yeah, we had one. We had one earlier too. Oh, really? You had only a five-minute break in that two-hour session. I would yeah. have asked for like a freaking I don't know lunch. Fifteen-minute break. break. Yeah, exactly. I was <laughs> like, I was like, tempted to. I was getting pretty hungry. <laughs> Like, can we it's have a 30 lunchtime. minute lunch break, I'll go take lunch, and we'll be back. We'll have a talk. Like a, what it's do you call that other. in sports? Like, intermission? Something I guess like so. That? Like, well, well, you know, <laughs> let's, let's, have, let's have the mascot out and do Yeah, I mean, football. You know. Football's what, 45 minutes, 45 minutes? Minute. Exactly. Where's the time event? You know, didn't, didn't they hire, like, I don't know, uh, what's, what's her name? Madonna could go on and go like, what? Don't play that melody. Oh, no, please. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not I'm not Madonna, but I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll remember that next time. Oh, I'll save that little pocket of information. <laughs> if anybody's hiring, I mean... Scream is close I, to Madonna. You know, I am close to her. Wait, that's... No, that's... No, you're, like you're almost like her. Madonna. Oh, yeah, I'm like Madonna. Like, close, I'm, I'm almost, you're a close resemblance. I'm, I'm, I'm literally a look-alike 
if she would have been male with a recli reclining hairline. Anyways, I do have to agree with what you said about looking for the two, the two on one scenario, trying to knock out mm. someone, making it a three v four. If they're lucky, they'll get two of them, like in quick. I mean, again, you we know? saw we saw the tactic that I discussed go badly, which was, you know, there was uh, Abaddon and Letty chasing down um, Sky Killer, and it just went badly because McCoffey came at the back, shot down, and heavily damaged Abaddon. And then Latige was shortly after set on fire. That's when it goes badly. Mm. Mm. But at least they did it and they gave it a go. Like that's what that's what teams do need to do is to try and get that two v one to try and knock somebody out. Because the quicker you do that, the better position you can be in. Because you can then start to evade the guy behind you and give your teammate a chance to climb to then get on your tail to assist you. There is just you're in just such a strong position at that point once you knock somebody out and mm. i feel like the risk uh, uh, the reward far outweighs the ways the risk because if if you get shot down chances are you would probably have been shot down anyways like if if uh we saw there um with mccoffey he he shot down abaddon regardless of whether or not he was on he was helping his teammate or not because, I mean, he was trying to evade anyways, and he got shot down. So, irrelevant of whether or not he did assist, he was still going to be shot down. Mm. So, I feel like at least he tried. He gave it He gave it a good go. And had he been successful, who knows what could have happened. Definitely. We're still waiting for uh, for the five-minute break to finish. I did not put on a timer anywhere. I, don't, I do not know how far... Uh, ahead we are. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's see here. Uh, what day is it? Tomorrow. It is Sunday. Uh, th there will be there will be Sunday tomorrow, <laughs> and tomorrow we will be covering two matches. It will be Sky Veterans versus SNJ International, and Wild Spirit versus Der Adler. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, and those two matches will uh, will actually be quarterfinals in the realistic battle division. That's going to be interesting. Guy Veterans is so one name I do remember. I do not remember the S and J. I remember that too. I recognize Guy Veterans S and J. Feels like the other, uh, which is in the first the first of those uh, of the two matches we're covering tomorrow. Um, Wild Spirit under Adler. I do not recognize. Unfortunately, but there's been a lot of team names uh, passing by in the previous tournaments. But that that is up tomorrow, guys, on this channel. Make sure that you follow this channel here on Twitch, the War Thunder channel. This is the official War Thunder channel, uh, where all of the English commentary for the Super Cup of the Gladiator will be covered. And uh, we are just now in the uh, the beginning of the four versus four. We're just waiting for them to start it. Um, and we'll see if uh, there's a chance for FAC to uh, come back here versus AD. AD is up three points. Uh, the for, uh, This match, this four versus four, whoever wins this gets three more points, which uh, FAC needs to draw the match and have a chance to actually, you know, then come back in an additional round. Uh, if if AD wins, they, they just secure it and they, they, they have the entire match won. So uh, we'll see uh, how this how this plays out. I gotta say, Sky Killer. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. No. Okay. Sky Killer, Sirosa, Triple uh, Seven, Corneve on AD, Predator, Maraboli, Abaddon, and Let on Fuck. You were saying. I gotta say, the four v four is really great. It either happens really quickly and lots of like phenomenal things happen, or it ends badly with a lot of rams. Either way, I have to say the 4v4 is probably the most entertaining of of the rounds. I Only because you have like you have now eight planes now coming together in a rather close environment. Chances of somebody hitting somebody is rather high. Hmm. I I have yet no markers in this game. Uh, there's a lot of airplanes. The T is on is come Rosa. right from the back. She flew away from everyone and now coming back on. in. Oh, AD crashed. Another guy crashed. That was a collision. I knew it. I told you I that was going to happen. I missed the collision. I missed it too. But I knew there was going Dang. to be a ram. Oh, the T Critically getting a damaged. kill. Uh, his tail's gone. He's dead. Yeah. 
I am on ABC Rosa. I'm gonna swap. Whoa, yeah, that's the guy without the tail. Nice spectacle. So, uh, so the AD guy is kind of falling out. This guy. Um. Well, there's now three versus two. Will will that be enough? We'll see. They just need Rosa to find a two v one. That's Rosa it. Rosa is still on the tail of uh, one of the fat guys. He needs. He needs. Uh, get yeah, like. Oh, okay. Oh, now it's 2v2. Yeah, there you go. Abaddon shot down by Skykiller. And Abaddon... That, that was actually... That, yeah, that was him. I mean, it is crazy to think just how much... And um, let... It's up to let now. He just gotta... Fit it. Come on. I mean... now He's I'm gotta hit you. someone oh, with that no. 37. Now I'm, now, now I'm rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, God, hit that guy! He's right in front of you! And let the coach at the sideline don't be like, What are you doing? <laughs> but again, it is nice to see that he came in really quick to try and support his teammate. Yes. Despite the fact he does have now somebody on his tail. I mean, look at that! Oh, it's so close! But I mean, his his teammate, um, Predator, is putting, putting Skykiller... Oh, no, sorry. Sarosa into rather precarious positions because I mean look how slow he's going The Rosa is just about to make the turn. Oh boy. This is not good Sarosa is the one who uses all these stealth rounds. I gotta say the guy's brave <laughs> I mean he got a kill in the last round, so you know, maybe I should use more stealth rounds, but Again a rather brave individual using In simulator particularly especially with all the other now. Oh yeah, conga. the conga line. My favorite, my favorite kind of line, especially when it comes to planes. I mean, all right, this is this is what I would like to see: is Predator to not maneuver too much, just wobble. Because the less wobbling he does, the easier it is for Latisse. Sure, it's going to give Sarosa an easy shot, but you know, Latisse needs to get this hit. He's obviously being chased by somebody and needs some assistance. The problem here is that uh, at the end of this conga line is AD, so. I would say they get the advantage at that point, and let here pass uh, the right ta elevator uh, damage. Oh, close collision! Not really. Well, semi. Yeah, his elevator looks a little bit damaged. I don't think he's pulling out of this one. <sighs> yeah, Cobra doesn't like to pull up, but he does. Very nice. Uh, Skykiller is leaking something. I think that's coolant. Yeah, yeah, that's usually what is with the white smoke. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, be, be enough to affect the match. I actually disagree with that statement because the Air Cobra isn't the most... Um, is a rather fragile engine. I feel like once oh, it starts wow, leaking coolant... Wow. Lead, is, lead is like... He's pretty much dipping his, you know, his, his belly into the... Yeah, you should probably get some altitude in. Yeah. It was really close there. Oh, but wow, he's right on the tail of Sarosa now. Oh, no, no, no. Go left. Go left. Oh. There we go. Go help out your teammate. There we go. There we go. I believe. Oh! The that 37mm round, once again, doing work. Just destroy the Predator. And if Let just doesn't finish his guy off. And also with the damage. I am not. Yeah. This is looking difficult. But he's almost, he he's almost got him. He just, he just needed to connect, and he didn't, which makes me think that this might be the, uh, you know, all she wrote. Yeah. Yeah, he. Uh, I don't think he's avoiding it this time. Nope. That left wing style. I think the left wing was critted as well, right at the end. Yeah, you saw the This, this was a lot critted. closer. They ha they were three versus two for a while. They just did not manage. They just didn't to, get the hits. They didn't manage to. They, no, they didn't get the hits. So they, they, but they also didn't manage to, you know, uh, capitalize on that, and and make that, you know, the three versus two matter enough no. so that AD managed to get back. A close game towards the end. Now aerobatic smoke. <laughs> oh, 
We do That's read weird. questions in chat, Tipton and Apu the Cleaner, uh, when the next matches are set for that I read. We, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, let you guys know that real soon here before we get off. We're just focusing so much entirely on the matches in front of us that it's it's difficult for us to, you know, fit in questions from the Twitch chat uh, while doing this. But we uh, we do read them uh, if there if there's anything really you know uh, that ha if if there's definitely something that has to do with the match itself or any comment that you guys write that I think you know we think is 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 has to do with the match we're watching then then uh, we will probably read it up and. Uh, Two shoutouts as it happens. So final result is six nil to eighty. A very good game. It was great to see AD. I mean, they they were very dominant, very dominating. Mm. I mean, I I I did feel like the comeback could have been real, but it just was not meant to be. Which is unfortunate. I, I'm 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 looking at our uh, our up, the upcoming schedule for the matches, and I'm seeing them updating them in real time right now. There's like a guy updating it as we speak, um, <laughs> frantically typing. Like, uh, so uh, all right, tomorrow, guys, quarterfinal for uh, realistic battles. Um, it's up uh, at 6 p.m. GMT. We'll have Sky Veterans versus SN SNJ International. At uh, 7 p.m. GMT, we'll have Wild Spirit versus Der Adler. Both covered in English by me and Adam here on War Thunder. Here on this channel, actually. This channel on Twitch. Make sure you follow it um, so that you don't miss out on that or any future content. Nope. All right. So to wrap this up, uh, any any anything else that we need to mention? Yes, we we could we could also you know uh, thank you guys for watching. We could also mention the uh, the official sponsors, obviously Rockat and Cytec, uh, main sponsors for the Super Cup. Um, they are the ones sponsoring the whole thing. Thanks to those two companies. Uh, you know, don't don't forget if you're on Facebook and you see Rocket or Cytec there, uh, give them a like, leave them a nice comment, and uh, and that's that. Do you have anything more to add, Adam? I'm looking forward to the matches tomorrow. Mm, definitely, definitely. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and thank you all for watching. Um, Average Adam, Screen Woman Two here. You can catch up over, over on Twitch.tv, Flash Meta Gaming TV, uh, other times most often. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, watching these matches and enjoying these battles with us. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.